Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're firing a couple uh, 16 gauge TSS loads today. They're an ounce and three quarter. I'll explain more about the load when we uh, get to the range at Josh's house. But uh, yeah, two 16 gauge ounce and three quarter TSS loads. We're of course using the Remington 1148 with the uh, poly choke set to its tightest setting, extra full. It's around 615 constriction, so uh, it should do pretty well with TSS. Uh, TSS likes uh, tight constriction, especially small shot like number nine does really well out of a uh, tighter constriction than something like a modified or regular full. Anyway, we'll see you when we get there. I'm out here at Josh's now. Remington 1148 made in 1952. Poly choke on it is set to its tightest setting, which is a roughly 615 constriction. Uh, this gun hits uh, high right, so I'm having to aim a uh, low lift. But the load, I used a tapered curling iron to straighten the hull back out. And then I roll crimped it, obviously, but it is a Federal 209A primer, Federal hull, 33, sorry, 32 grains of little gun, CSD 16 wad, four pedal, half cut, a mylar wrap, one quarter inch of 20 gauge felt, a 24 gauge nitro card, which is a uh, one eighth of an inch, and one and three quarter ounces of TSS number nine shot, roll crimped with a bingo chip. See how this does? We're at 42 yards like always. Let me put this chronograph on. <laughs> Hope it's still lined up. Yeah. All right, chrono is on. Let's see how this patterns and the velocity. You ready, Josh? You gotta drop it. What is it? Bolts back. Good eye, Captain. Yeah, but I am ready. All righty. 12.45 FPS. While you sit there, I will grab the hull. How's she look? The results are in, and other than the caved in back, which is a very common problem with that 1148, everything looks good. Long recoil action. I'll show you real quick actually. Zoom in on the uh, ejection port here. Long recoil action. The barrel is forcing the back of the shell into the bolt, which caves it in. That's just how long recoil guns work. That looks great too. Boom. Go in here and see how that jewel patterned. Well, guys, this pattern is not as tight as I, I would like it to be, but it's not bad. We have pretty good density. The core, I mean, the middle of the pattern is not, you know, there's no real core. It's just kind of spread out. Would it get a turkey at 42 yards? Yes, yes it would. The density is good enough. All righty guys, let's see, let's go, I guess, right in the center. What do you say? Yeah. What do you think, yardstick work better for this? I think it does. Yeah, 25, 26 inches across it anyways. And then, I don't know, we'll go from there to there. <laughs> uh, I don't know, if you want to go right there anyways, 25, maybe. So roughly 25 by 25? Yeah, 42 yards. Hmm. Now, when I posted this load on Facebook earlier in the 16 gauge group, people were telling me the BP 1680 actually patterns a lot better than the CSD does. So I guess we're about to find out. All right, guys, we've got here 32 grains of little gun, BP 1680 wad with a mile R wrap, a quarter inch felt, 24 grades nitro card, one and three quarter ounces of number nine TSS. We're at 42 yards. We're running out of this 1148 with a poly choke on its tightest setting, whatever that may be. I guess let's see what happens. Make sure my dog ain't behind the range. I see a hole from a wad. Dang. Right about where I was aiming though. So this thing does pattern high right. So hold slightly low left. Yep, 1237. But alrighty. I think that was a failure. <laughs> the wad punched you the paper. Where's the hole at? Uh, there it is. 
Ew. Not really, that's normal. Is this part here really? Don't look bad. Nope, it looks fine other than the bolt. Uh, Excuse smashing. the rest of that part there, but the primer don't look too bad. Nah. You know, I really don't like how the 1148 smashes the holes in, but it is fixable. Now, I don't expect, expect this pattern to be very good because we can see a uh, near perfectly round hole. So I'm guessing like half the shot went through that hole. That BP-1680 watt is tough. I'm guessing that's still a great pattern even if it did. Okay, yep, that's a really good pattern. I did pattern a lot better than the CSD wad. Actually, I think the wad just smacked it. It did. It's laying. It's not laying there. Hey, that one was shot through the Indian Creek. Yep. It's got them weird lines on it. But alrighty, I think that done better. Let's measure it and see start with that. What was the last one? 25 by 25? Roughly, yeah. Looks like I lost some off the top maybe a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Anyway. Can't help it, guys. The gun just shoots so far off point of aim. 23 i mean there's like six pellets below that roughly but 23 by i don't know 20 25 26 something like that oh. about the same hmm. maybe i don't know the density is a little better there's still no real core though no it's it's, it's very erratic i think the poly choke just sucks for TSS, to be honest with you. I vote we hack it off. Me too. We want it to take interchangeable chokes. I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't <laughs> think it'd rip it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we just wasted some really expensive shot there. Maybe uh, back that powder charge down a couple grains. Uh, 1,200 and whatever velocity is not needed for TSS. 1,000 feet a second's fine. But uh, yeah... I think the poly choke needs to go. I challenge you to reload this. Um, okay. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Gotcha. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed that video. Certainly was interesting to see. I figured the TSS patterns would be better, but they weren't anything like what we've seen out of the uh, 12 and 10 gauge. Those were really good, but not so much in the 16. I really think it was the poly choke. We are going to get rid of that thing as soon as we find someone that can uh, thread the barrel for chokes. Cutting it off is easy. We can do that in 30 seconds with the hacksaw. Anyway, guys, I guess I'll sign this one off here. If you got any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. We will get back to you. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month. And every penny we get goes right back into the channel. A link to that will be in the description below, as well as our Instagram and our Rumble. But other than that one, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.